Okie doke. So um, I finished watching. I'm not sure if it is the um, the recommendation that Dad versus Son mentioned. Um, <clears throat> harsh rules. I'll take a look at what uh, he mentioned. But I watched that guy's uh, how to thing. Uh, really good. And he also, unfortunately, and if it is Dad versus Son that mentioned that one, I kind of like want to curse you a little bit because that person recommended. Historical Wargaming, I think, some kind of site where you could buy um, a lot of interesting things. And they had a ton of World War I stuff. I was like, oh, no. But um, so it was a good tutorial. I'm going to rewatch it for sure. That I, and I'll tell you one thing. I was absolutely stunned at how many uh, videos. There's a lot of material just on YouTube. And I mean, you know, so obviously there's probably even more stuff like non-YouTube related um, it was neat. The person said the rules are really, really good. I loved, I'll tell you about one thing. There's a lot of wrinkles. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go through it over and over. Like there just seems to be with these wrinkles, there's going to be an awful lot of strategy. You can, one thing right off the bat, I was like, oh boy, this seems interesting is a thing called, and remember I, I have no, um, experience whatsoever with, um, any other form of axes and allies. I've never even touched a box for crying out loud. So I don't know if, any of the stuff I'm saying is, you know, uh, normal, but, uh, there's a thing called contested, uh, territories. So I don't even have to win. Um, I can just put like some little person there or whatever. And as, as long as it remains there kind of thing, that, uh, economic or the industrial production credits for that territory, for example, like if it says two, uh, or let's say Burgundy, let's say I move somebody, uh, and the Austro-Hungarians. So there's no, uh, role, like it's a sequence of events. So Austro-Hungarians go first, then the Russians and so on and so forth. I'll have to, um, uh, put the sequence down. Maybe I'll, um, I'll adjust the sequence over here for now. I'm using uh, life money and, um, yeah, it, I mean, obviously there's no 10,000. It'll just be 10 and, uh, oh, sorry. The, uh, the 10,000 will be one. Uh, the 100,000 is 10, uh, 20,000 is 2, 50,000 is 5. Uh, it's just for now, if I can figure out something else. Um, so the first move is going to be the uh, Austro-Hungarians. And the first thing you do is um, purchase units, I do believe, and repair units uh, or something like that. Yeah, so you're, 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 you're expending um, your points. And at the very beginning, so there is actually two record-keeping things. Uh, so this is where you would put your mobilization, so the army, because they don't get to move right away. Um, as far as I know, you, um, I'll look at it, the secret, sequence of events first, but I think it's purchasing and repairing of units. So obviously the Austro-Hungarians don't have to worry about repairing any units. So they'll purchase some, and it shows you how many points it costs right there. Um, and that is where your money go disappears from. And then um, this thing is the production chart. So I've converted that production chart into this. I didn't realize when I was making this, I thought this was going to be the money. And it's actually, so I'm gonna use this as my production chart. Um, so that, this contested zone is really interesting uh, for me. And there's all these other little wrinkles. So I'm, and yet again, like I said, what I would like to get to do with this, this game kind of thing is going to be primarily, it's not going to be videos. That's for freaking sure. It is going to be primarily just updates or whatever, uh, or questions, uh, thing, things on the community tab and go from there. Um, yeah. And I think the disc, the things worked well for my markers of the, the quantities. Uh, so if it's a gold, uh, hex, it's five, uh, points and the silver disc is one. Uh, unit and uh, you obviously have to have a, 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 an actual uh, figure on the table I mean to represent whatever so if you only had one artillery unit you'd obviously only just use one you just have the plastic piece and I doubled them up uh, the the hexes to make them a little bit uh, taller so obviously to, I mean you want to like you know and it looks neat so why not so that'll be that um, so I'll put maybe in the community tab what in the world um, Excuse me, should uh, should they spend their money on? I think maybe that'll be that and go from there. But I'm really uh, intrigued by this contested area bit. Um, uh, it just seems like there's going to be a lot of interesting strategy later on. Okay, that's it. Hope you're having a great time.